Now I'm going to start talking about our work uh, in that context. And if we go back to the mid-90s, the Commerce Bank building was the first uh, green skyscraper to be, to be built, some uh, 62 floors high on a very, very tight site. And what's interesting is the body politic of how this building got built. To build a building of this uh, magnitude on this very tight site next to the existing Commerce Bank uh, headquarters, which was uh, just located here, the city was um, involved in the uh, approvals process for this building and insisted that the Commerce Bank would build a green tower. And the bank uh, took hold of that, as I say, in the mid-90s, uh, I think in a very um, uh, forward-thinking attitude that we'll find, as you'll see in a moment in Germany, uh, to this issue. Corporate as a corporate decision enabled them to build such a large building which they wouldn't otherwise have been able to do had it not been a sustainable skyscraper. So even then we were looking at uh, computer modeling for uh, how the wind would uh, pass around the building. But interestingly what gave rise to this particular diagram is if you look at the uh, regular center core square building um, how the light penetration and views out. A lot of the footprint uh, is buried close in and the perimeter area for the workspace is, um, is relatively limited. Now in Germany another aspect of uh, building design is that people are, um, the unions, the workforce unions require people to be no further than seven and a half meters from an outside view. So that as you can imagine, creates quite a, 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 quite a constraint on the way buildings can, can be formed and built. So in this building, um, I think many of you probably know it, the idea that the cores would be dispersed to the um, outer reaches, have a central uh, circulation area, and then these gardens that would spiral around and act as uh, ventil natural ventilation uh, areas, gardens in the sky, if you like, and create these uh, discrete uh, villages. If, uh, similar to the earlier slide of HSBC in Hong Kong, breaking the tower down into separate moments. So there's the gardens, there's the cores, and they spiral around to different uh, facades. And then the gardens themselves go over four stories and allow the heat from the atrium to pass through the garden and out through the top. We're also in allowing uh, natural ventilation through into the atrium. And then the windows on the uh, atrium side, as well as the windows on the outside, can open and allow natural ventilation to occur. And indeed, there's an early sketch showing how one can improve the uh, not only the corporate conviviality, the, the village atmosphere, as it were, high up in the sky, a sort of connectivity uh, from one space to another, but also a connection to the outside view. And it's been um, tested in various uh, caucusing of opinion that uh, many of the offices on the inside of the building in this location are more popular than many on the outside. And there's uh, an early slide just after it was complete. Um, and indeed, it was uh, targeted to use 65% um, less uh, air conditioning in the building. The reality has been that people prefer not to. Um, and they keep their windows open for much longer. And the uh, tests over the last few years have shown 85% naturally ventilated throughout the year. And this is how it's done. There's the opening window. The upstand is for, um, for the Virendil beams that hold the building up, but there is a, a heater. At this point, we have chilled ceilings, something that when we first started working in the city on the Hearst building, we wanted to explore. And then we realized that it wasn't a cost item, chilled ceilings. It was actually a union item, a union issue with the way the various different uh, trades would have to put up a chilled ceiling. Good for hospitals, it's cleaner, it's, uh, and it is used here for hospitals. Not yet uh, common uh, here 
in, uh, in America as a, as a conditioning and a cooling system, but much more common in Europe. And there's a, a view from the outside how the air goes through these slots and out this slot to purge um, the office environment from within. And again, another thematic point, at the base of the Commerce Bank Tower, there's a restaurant, um, and we're coming on to Hearst in a moment, um, using underfloor heating and cooling uh, to temper the environment. So this isn't an air-conditioned environment. If it's a bit cool, you keep your jacket on. If it's a little hot, you take your jacket off. But nonetheless, the underfloor uh, cooling system provides a, a sort of a buffer zone from zero to six feet where that, that temperature can be tempered. 